Hello Aquarius, welcome to your spirit guide messages. We are going to connect with your spirit guides and see what it is they want you to know right now, what they feel you need to hear, maybe even answer a question that you've been putting out there. So let's get into it and see what they have to say. Okay, so we have self-love with nature spirits, leadership with higher self, and ease with runner guides. Okay, Aquarius, your spirit guides are saying you need to give yourself far more credit than you do. In fact, this feels more of like a pep talk or let's talk about things. Let's talk about you and who you are. You don't appreciate the way that you keep things together, whether in your family, in your friend group, at the office, at your job, um, in your romantic partnership. There's some aspect where you really are the glue that holds it all together. And I don't think that you get enough recognition or appreciation for who you are, what you are, what you bring to the table. And it has you doubting yourself a little bit, even if you're not aware of it. Like your spirit guides are coming in very strong with that, saying it's time to see yourself in a new light, in a more beautiful light, and they wanna help you with that because you're strong. You're meant to be a leader, a guide, a teacher, not, and if anybody's trying to make you question yourself and your wisdom, don't, Aquarius. This right here is saying no, you are wise, you are strong, you are capable, you're a leader, you're somebody who could have your own business, you're somebody who could lead a team, whether that's in the workplace or sports or anything. For whatever reason, your spirit guides really want you to honor and recognize the leader that you are, how strong you are, how wise you are, and it's going to allow much more ease in your life. So let's pull some tarot. Let's go deeper. Let's see why they're bringing this message in at present. Why they think this is what you need to hear right now. All right, this one flipped. Oh, look at this. The lovers. So you're not getting the love, the appreciation that you deserve. And it has you doubting yourself. It has you questioning your worth. Yeah, look at that. Five of Cups. But your spirit guides are saying otherwise. Instead of you thinking something's lacking in you, perhaps those around you have had um, eyes that lack the ability to see just how precious you are. Oh my gosh, as I'm saying that, this is the the single card that flew and this person's blindfolded and Eight of Swords. Okay, Queen of Cups. Somebody, and this is just for some Aquarius, somebody out there broke your heart. For many of you, it could have been a water sign, but this is definitely speaking for some Aquarius where your heart was broken. Oh, but look at this. You're going to come out strong, Aquarius. Somebody may have really hurt you, whether this, and look at the very next card, is the Eight of Cups, okay? Whether this was a friend, a family member, a romantic partner, a co-worker, somebody really hurt your feelings and it's left you questioning yourself, doubting yourself. And that's why your guides came in. And just because somebody close to you failed to recognize what you bring to the table, you know, and sometimes Aquarius, 
people could be intimidated of your shine, of your wisdom, of your intelligence, of your leadership ability, of the way that you can handle stuff and get it all done and make it all happen. Some people could be intimidated by that, whereas other people may not have the eyes to see and fully appreciate what you're bringing to the table. Either way, your spirit guides want to help you move on from this sadness, feeling as though you're not loved, wanted, needed. Some of you could be questioning your worth and your value, but your spirit guides want to help you walk away and move on. And you know, I am going to be posting this reading on the 18th of August. The 19th of August is the Aquarius full moon. So that full moon may be very powerful. It's going to be a super moon, the first one of the year, I believe. And then the next full moon in September in Pisces is actually going to be a lunar eclipse. So this moon in Aquarius, this full moon all the way to that Pisces full moon, because we do got the Queen of Cups here. There is something new that's coming in for you, something that's going to change, whether this is a new job, a new source of income, a new relationship, a new path that you're choosing. Whatever this Ace of Pentacles represents for you, it's going to allow you to walk away from the sadness, feeling unloved, not seen, not appreciated, not honored all of that you're going to be walking away from those types of feelings Aquarius and that's what your spirit guides want you to know and not doubt yourself and doubt who you are because I'm getting for some of you where this involves a person specifically it's like this person was jealous of you envious of you intimidated by you triggered by you something along those lines and they they weren't honest about it and for others, whoever this person was, the fault is on them for not seeing you and honoring you and appreciating you the way that you deserve. You deserved more than whatever happened here, Aquarius, whether this is a life circumstance or it involves another person specifically, you deserve better than this. And your guides are saying that. And no matter how tough the road has been, don't doubt yourself. Don't feel stuck and trapped as though this is all there will ever be in your life moving forward. No, your spirit guides want to help you walk away from anything that's been troubling you, hurting you, weighing heavily on your heart, on your mind, making you feel stuck and restricted and confused. They want to help you with that and bring back peace and ease and grace and stability and happiness especially if somebody broke your heart Aquarius you deserve better than that so let's pull some more cards let's see what else your spirit guides have to say You know, I just got a message. This will not apply to all Aquarius, but for some, this person has either recently come back or is about to come back because we are in Mercury retrograde right now. And this is a strong message from your spirit guides to not let them back in at all. They broke your heart. They may have ghosted you, blocked you, pushed you away with no explanation. It doesn't matter what they're saying now. It's time to move on from this. There's better for you. You deserved better than what happened. So, yeah. If if they have tried to come back recently or they surface very soon, don't let them back in, Aquarius. They have not changed. And remember, sometimes people just come back to make sure they still have access to you. 
to make sure you're still there on the back burner should they so need you or perhaps they are as I'm about to say this look at that says exhaustion perhaps they're going through something in their life and they're remembering you and your energy and who you are and what you bring to the table and they know that you care so let me worm my way back into Aquarius life so I can feel better no you deserve more Aquarius they have not changed Okay, yeah, look at that shadow with Divine Healers. Solitude with Higher Self. And Appreciation with Divine Helpers. All right, so you're dealing with the shadow energy. Somebody or something really hurt you and broke your heart. And right now, being alone in your own energy is the best thing for you so that you can truly filter through everything and your spirit guides are with you they want to help you and see they're saying you deserve more appreciation and love and respect than what you were given and that's why they're going to help you fully walk away from this whether again this involves a person or a life circumstance they're going to help you walk away from it into better with this ace of pentacles this is all about new energy fresh energy energy that's solid that's true that you can count on and there's so much potential and more to come coming through as the ace so let's pull some more cards Okay, so look at this. This says take responsibility for your actions. And what I'm getting about this is you've been overcompensating on responsibility, questioning yourself about what could I have done better, you know, just left in the dark as to why somebody hurt you or a life circumstance came to be, right? I feel there's somebody else in this situation that needs to take responsibility for their actions, Aquarius, and you not give them a free pass because you deeply care. Somebody ne needs to own up and not just own up to it, but actually prove they changed, not just for a couple weeks, but like six months to a year, they're on a probation period. If you choose to let them back in, I'm seeing it's time to move on, but you've got to do what's best for you. Somebody needs to take responsibility for what they did, what they said. Everyone has value, including you, Aquarius. Never value others more than yourself. You deserve love and happiness as much as anybody else. You deserve grace and joy and peace as much as anybody else. You have as much value as everybody else. And your spirit guides really want to help you know that. Look at that. Don't relinquish your power. And that don't relinquish your power is when you start really doubting yourself because of the rejection of somebody, their behavior towards you, their inability to recognize and see your worth and your value. Aquarius, that's a fault within them, not within you. Because whether somebody vibes with you or not, wisdom would indicate everybody has worth and value and should be treated with respect and kindness even if you don't vibe with them and I'm just getting that you got the raw end of the deal here and it's left you feeling very confused and unwanted alone and your spirit guides are with you trying to remind you of who and what you are and saying you deserve better than this and between this Aquarius full moon and that Pisces 
full moon lunar eclipse there is going to be change within you there's new energy coming in they want you to know that so those are your messages i am sending you lots of love and light take care